Hi, my name is Haley Franks, and I'm going to show you how to create student portfolios using Google Sites. So step one is to open Google or search um, for Google and get to this Google homepage. Then up here when, um, on your waffle, you want to click on the waffle and scroll down till you see the Google Sites button. We're going to click on this to open Google Sites. So it takes us here, and to create a new site, we are going to click right here on the blank site. Now the first thing you want to do is to go up here, and we want to create the title of your Google site. We do not want to put spacing in here, so you want to title of your site without any spaces. And then down here is where you are going to create your page title. And this is kind of like your home page. So you might want to, you know, whatever you're wanting to title it. Okay. Now we want to click publish to save your changes. And this is going to make your web address. So whatever you put up here as the title of your um, actual site, that is going to be your web address. So this is why you don't want to have any spaces in there. And we're going to click Publish. Clicking Publish is what saves your changes for your site. So every time you make a change on your Google Sites, you have to click Publish in order for that site to be, or those changes to be viewable um, for others who are looking at your site. This is also a good time when you actually create the site to go over to themes and to create a theme that the rest of your pages will follow. If you create one now, that means when you add new pages, it will follow the same theme. Otherwise, if you don't, whenever you create new pages, you are going to have to then go in and change the fonts and the headers and things like that. Just don't forget, every time you make an addition or a change on your Google portfolio, you want to click publish. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.